Hi, Tegan and Ross here from Biker Talk, and today we're here with Rob from Throttle Down Under. Welcome, mate. Thank you. And today we're going to discuss the new Royal Enfield Bullet 350. We are. Okay, so let's start by talking about the teaser trailer that we saw. What are your first thoughts? First of all, I was excited, really excited. Um, I think the Bullet has been a Royal Enfield staple bike for so many years. So great to see it back. Very excited to see it wasn't just the Bullet 350. That teaser ad had a whole heap of different other models potentially coming out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, first of all, I was pretty excited. How about you? Well, you got a text from me the moment it came out. I sent you a text and you see the teaser. <laughs> I did. And, and I, I got very excited as well. Uh, in particular, because there seemed to be so many models teased. Uh, to think that there may be some more models coming out, very exciting time. See, I'm just coming at it as an editor and I watched that first two minutes of just the changing bikes. And in my head, I'm like, that's too long. That's too long. <laughs> <laughs> but the bike looked cool itself, but I was so distracted. I did like the kind of India themed Indian pride yeah, yeah, yeah. and history. Um, I thought that part of it was really cool and the production value was really, really nice. Yeah, it was nice. Um, I also heard that you've recently been in India. Well, yes, I'm, I'm not long back, still yeah. recovering. <laughs> But I had, had an epic trip over there and talking about the Indian pride yep. in, in their Royal Enfields, it's a real thing. Mm. Like these people are so proud yeah. about their brand. Yeah. Uh, and obviously over there, you see very few other brands other than Royal Enfield on the roads over there. Yeah, brilliant yeah. bikes. Yeah. And great for those conditions, but good out here as well. Yeah. Absolutely. And what about you, Russ? What have you been up to? Uh, I have did a big ride on my Laverta yesterday. It broke down. Royal Enfields don't break down, but Lavertas <laughs> do. Um, and I'm actually coming. I'm doing the one ride, the one Royal Enfield ride this weekend. Oh, nice. So I'm pinching my son Ben's uh, Meteor 350 for the day. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take that one out for uh, the one ride uh, meeting at... Uh, Harry's Cafe de Wheels, Moto Chiclo is hosting the ride, then down through the National Park, down to Stamble Park, so that'll be good fun. Um, this edit will be out after that ride, so we'll roll a bit of footage over that. Over <laughs> this, over something. <laughs> <laughs> So now let's talk about the actual Bullet 350. What are we expecting from it? Well, I think, and I know Rob agrees with me here, that the, that J-Series engines is, is it's a great little engine. Yeah. And it, it's not surprising that that's the first one, they the, the 350 is the first Bullet they've released because the engine's tried and tested. Um, so I didn't find that surprising at all that they released that bike first. So I'm expecting um, like another, just a great little Royal Enfield. The, the Meteor that I have, love riding it. Yeah. Um, the engine's awesome. I love the, the the shape they've gone with, the traditional, you know, classic bullet shape. The seat looks good. Mm. Um, but what I am expecting is for this one to be another really high quality Royal Enfield. They just keep, seem to keep upping the bar each time. Now we're not talking massively premium bikes, but each, each new Royal Enfield they put out is just that little bit better than the last one. So I'm expecting this one to be pretty good. Yeah, nice. And Rob? Yeah, absolutely. As you say, the quality's improving. The Super Meteor yeah. was a lot better than the Interceptor and the GTs. Yeah. And yeah, I'm expecting it to be incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it'll be a good bike. Yeah. Is that seat different from the other bullets that they've had? Because that looked quite unique to me. So no, it looks, I think it looks very similar to a bullet seat. Right. Yeah, so it's a very okay. similar um, sort of design seat. But obviously, an old style. Yeah, absolutely. Look. It's yeah. got it's got a real old vibe. I mean, that bike has yeah. been running for 91 years. Like it's, yeah. and it hasn't really changed a lot apart from now yeah. with this new engine. Um, so no, the seat is, that's a traditional sort of bullet looking seat. The, yeah. the bullet in India is known as a super bike. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're, really? especially the 500s, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the Indian Superbike, yeah. Yeah, they love it. Because oh, wow. yeah. I know that we had a few comments on our YouTube channel around the engine being underpowered on the, what was it, the Super Meteor? No, the, the well, maybe the Super Meteor, but I think definitely the Meteor and the Hunter and the Classic. Mm, yeah, we had a few comments around that, but I don't think that's the case at all, because I've ridden the Meteor. You've ridden the Meteor 350, yep. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. I found there was plenty of power, like, I had no issue on highways and yeah. getting commuting into work. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like it's a little bit slower to sort yeah. of take off at lights than what I'm used to. Yeah. But once you get going, I I didn't find it was You wrote the at all. the Hunter, didn't you? You had the Hunter, Hunter 350. Yeah. I really I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I'm sort of I'm in between the two opinions. Yeah. I think it's adequate. I'd like a little bit more. Yeah. But that's where the other options like an Interceptor 360 are there. Uh, but 650. 650. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I, I think that um, for me, perfect city bikes, yeah. 
perfect urban bikes in general. Uh, if you're doing a lot of highway riding, uh, I would think there's better options out there. Oh, 100% there's better options yeah. if you're going to be doing predominantly freeways. Mm. But like I've got a Meteor 350 and I it's my go-to bike to commute on. Yep. And I've got maybe about five, six Ks of freeway, 100, 100, 100 kilometre zones, yep. and it's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, it's comfortable, it's narrow enough to filter when I get into the inner city, mm. um, but in terms of sitting on a freeway for a little bit, it's absolutely fine. I wouldn't want to be doing all day on a freeway on it. I also, it's not that kind of bike. I also think in Australia, we're, we're over capitalising on CC as well. Yeah. Like, I think the majority of people are having motorcycles that are too big for what they need, yeah. uh, and in particular, my Harley friends. <laughs> <laughs> Which I used to be, and I still love Harleys. I'm not bagging them at all. But I think I think a lot of bikes that we own in Australia are way bigger than necessary. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. So it still suits the Australian sort of uh, standard in terms of if you're just around near cities. I suppose out country is the only. No, I think it's absolutely fine on the country, country roads where you're sitting on a hundred. It's no dramas at all. I would have no problems touring on my Royal Enfield Meteor. Mm. What I wouldn't do is be sitting on freeways the whole time. Yeah. yeah. You know, I've got to be trying to hit the back roads, which, I mean, you do that anyway when I you're on freeway. That's, right. that's, that's what, what you want to do anyway. Yeah. So I think for those sort of country roads, mm. mate, the, the Meteor 350 is fine. So I think this Bullet 350 will be exactly the same. Is it going to be the best bike to do a big long tour on? Probably not. Mm. But um, I think it'll be absolutely fine. And, so, and you look pretty bloody cool. So. And you do look cool. <laughs> yeah. And it's and, you know, it's old school Royal Enfield. Yeah. yeah, they're cool bikes. Yeah. <laughs> so what's our thoughts on the next release? Which one is going to be next? Ooh, what do you think? Oh, look, I from looking at the the promo video that they put out, like mm. the, the 500 was next in line. Yep. Yep. And to be completely honest, this one excites me. Because if you're bringing a new 500 engine in mm. that has less vibrations, but still the single cylinder thumper uh, in a traditional style bullet, man, I, I think my credit cards are already on the table, seriously. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm kind of with you there. I did like the, the I like the idea of a new 500. And, and I don't know if you remember, but I, th well, I think mm. on the actual ad, they actually had the 500 first. Yeah. Yeah, and oh, the 350 right. was second. So I was yeah. like, oh, okay, it's a 350. Yeah. But the rest of that ad, they only showed the 350. The one I'm excited about, and I'm assuming it's a 650, is the Bullet 65. Yeah. You'd, you'd think they're going to be using the 650 engine in that. So, yes, you'd think so. But then is that going to take away the character of a bullet? Like the bullet was all oh, about no. single cylinder thumpers. Uh, I agree that a 650 in that uh, framework yeah. would be pretty cool. Yeah. But is it taking away that character of, of a bullet? I'd say it's not just bullets that were a single cylinder thumper. All Royal Enfields yeah. were single cylinder That's thumpers true. until they released those twins. Yeah. And that was a big step forward for them. So, yeah, that's the one. I, I don't know. Like, is it going to take away a bit of character? Yeah, it probably will, but it's going to be a different sort of bike. The Super Meteor is absolutely brilliant. Yep. Uh, and I, when I think I said in a video, when I saw that Super Meteor, I thought, wow, I can see a classic 650. So maybe it's actually a bullet 650 we're going to see instead. Yeah. Instead of a classic 650. Yeah, 650, yeah. Yeah, but that, so that's the one I'm excited about, and my credit card would be out uh, <laughs> if, if they release that one. Let's, um, I don't know if your garage could fit another oh, bike. Probably not, at the moment. <laughs> probably not at the moment. So that's one that excites me. Yeah. Um, I'm not really on top of what the Bullet Electra is. No, I, there's a lot of curiosity going on there. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the, but in that in that teaser campaign, there was a Bullet, they came up with Bullet Electra, but then they had yeah. Bullet E as well. So yeah. are we going to see maybe an electric Royal Enfield at some point, well, an electric it makes bullet. Sense. Like they don't have an electric bike out yet. No. It makes sense, right? Like I feel like every single like company has at least one out yeah. or is getting or to that point it. where they're yeah. trying to get at least one version of electric bike out there. Yeah. 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 Um, and hopefully they'll just keep improving because I think they still need a little bit of work. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting there, they're getting there, yeah. but that would be cool. Is that to based see. on any particular bike you've ridden? No, things? No, 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 just, just a generic <laughs> comment. Well, no, they um, so Royal Enfield. We I think we said in a lot, in a previous video, Royal Enfield have invested in an electric company. Well, Steph was yes. saying that. Yeah, yeah no a fire pit. Yes, yeah, yeah. So they've yeah. invested in Stark Varg. I think it's a Stark. Yeah. Stark is the company. Mm. So they've got some shares in that. I mean, they're mad not to um, to to invest in in electric. So are we going to see an electric bullet? Maybe. Would it be a bullet if it's electric? Don't know. Mm. Still keen to see it. I, I, I sort of think, I mean, I love classic retro style bikes. Yeah. Do I want to see an electric retro retro style bike? I don't think I do. <laughs> I, 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 get it, I get electric. I understand electric. I think that it's the way of the future. Yeah. But if you're building electric, why put it in a retro format? Okay. What do you think of the, um, the Savic? 
that's been like how long has that been Ooh, like, yeah. production so so i was lucky enough to be at the unveiling of the c series which was in like 19 it's been a long time and um and yeah the evolution is still happening mm. personally i like it but for me the c series is really um it is cafe racer style but it's also futuristic yeah uh whereas there's no futuristic stylings within a bullet i just wouldn't be putting my money down on an electric yeah. classic styled bike yeah if i want classic i still want to have a bit you of want flamm smell petrol. flammable yeah. fuel there <laughs> <laughs> and i want to feel a bit of a vibration yeah, yeah okay. absolutely okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I i'm pretty keen to see an electric if they have one would i put my money on one oh, maybe not just yet but um but i'd review one yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> happily right. take one for review <laughs> happily take one for review yeah so yeah nice did you see any bullets when you were in india at all look through the himalayas I think the bullets used to be the bike of choice to ride in the Himalayas mm. until the Himalayan was released. And now the Himalayans are absolutely yeah. everywhere. But there are still a lot of bullets running up through. And to be honest, some of the roads up there are incredibly tough. And to see a bullet rolling through next to a Himalayan is quite impressive. Yeah. I was going up, there's a, um, a mountain pass called Kardungla, and it's the second highest motorable road in the world. And as I was coming up there, we are just cruising along at an average speed, and I just heard this bump, 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 bump coming up behind me. And I looked in my mirror, and I was a Bullet 500. And he was just cruising up past, no safety gear. He had his traditional head, headdress on. Yeah. And he just went past, he's, he had all the metal framework welded onto his bike and just a bit of a smile as he went past and he just took off and when you're in india and there's not many bikes out there the bullet was seriously the coolest looking bike yeah, right. on the mountain i absolutely loved it i wanted to buy one just by looking at that fella go past <laughs> <laughs> so rob i know that you've already released a couple of videos from india when are we seeing the rest of them we're about halfway through the series at the moment so there's probably two or three episodes to go and uh yeah it was, it was quite an adventure i must say I'm, I'm glad I did it. Uh, I'm also glad to be home. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see Rob's video of the his Himalayan tour, then um, just check out this playlist up here. And if you'd like to see our Royal Enfield playlist, then Tegan, step out of the way and check out this playlist up here. Till next time, stay safe and enjoy your next pie run.